Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my walk STEM project. Today, we'll be taking a walk around Taipei. When you think about Taiwan, the very first thing you probably think about is bubble milk tea. And yes, it is famous in Taiwan. However, did you know that bubble milk tea is actually relatively simple to recreate, especially the boba. You see, the boba are typically made of three ingredients, tapioca starch, a brown, a typically brown or black sugar, and just water. You mix them together like you would make mix with bread and kind of make a dough out of it. Later, you cook that dough in hot water. And what happens is a process called starch gelatinization, whereby the starch structure becomes disruptive by the water and the water begins to fill in the gaps created, thereby creating hydrogen bond between the gelatin and the water, which ends up with that chewy black little boba we love in the tea. After you enjoy your bubble milk tea, typically you can go to Daan Park and visit a very special local resident. They're called Kiki and Pan Pan. They are swankies that live within the park and they have been there for over 15 years. They are very friendly and do interact with and do, do interact with humans. And they're very, and they're actually a vulnerable species. And you, but you can study them very much up close. You see, Pan Pan and Kiki have been there for 15 years and group and has been take well taken care of by the local residents there. Even though geese is typically a Chinese a uh, very typical Chinese cuisine. However, these two are very protected, not just by law, but by the local residents who interact with them, feed them, and even name them. As you can see here, you can physically touch the geese and they, actually, they will actually allow you to touch them. Just be warned, if they start bowing their head down toward you, they're not bowing, they're getting ready to attack you. So feel free to sub study them up close if you want. Lastly, you probably visit the Taipei 101 which is one of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. Yet, did you know it actually houses a very cool secret? That's right. The secret is how does it survive being a skyscraper in a place that has earthquake all year round? And the wind, ooh, the wind is very windy, around 10 miles per hour on average for seven months of the year. How does the tower not topple? The secret lies in the mascot. No, just kidding. But what the mask actually represents. You see, on the 87th and the 92nd floor of the 101 is a giant 660 ton steel ball that acts as kind of like a tuned mass damper that negates up to 40% of the oscillation of the tower. You can see in the example on the bottom how having little mass on the top actually stops the tower from wobbling as much by acting counteracting the oscillation. And here on in 2005, we had a giant typhoon that actually physically moved the ball quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite scary to see a 660 ton ball moving around, but it's actually helping the towers remain stable even during high winds. This concludes my walk stand. Thank you.